So, who's seen me in my underwear on the outside before? Hey! Uh, you had a chance in Austin, Texas, and in, uh, in Wellington at this point. So, uh, yeah. Who knows when that'll happen again? <laughs> um, so, Drupal Association Director at Large election starts next week. Um, I can't figure out because this time zone is confusing. Monday or Tuesday? Somehow. Tuesday. March 9th. Okay. Tuesday for Australians. Um, please go read the candidates page. I think there are 24 candidates. There are a lot of good ideas. There are a lot of diverse backgrounds. And I think it's important that you find someone who believes in things and wants things that you do. Alex and Annie are... Alex, come on down. Alex and Annie are, are two of those people who um, are kindly... Um, offering to, to work for us. And um, I, I do believe that Alex would be happy and I'm sure Annie would be happy as well to do a sort of a meet the candidates tomorrow. Did we, did we find a time to do that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you got to be more organized than that. No, they don't. <laughs> These guys represent our part of the world. If that's important to you, vote for them. If that's not important to you, vote for anyone. Just please vote, okay? Absolutely. Yeah? Yes. Absolutely. And we'd love to see you tomorrow and tell you why we actually want to be on the DA. And what is director at large? Okay, that's it. Done. <laughs> okay, our numbers have dwindled. That happens. Someone pointed out to me, you know, you've probably noticed I forget to do things when I do these kind of things talk things. I forgot to tell you who I am. <laughs> Probably doesn't matter now though, right? Um, my name's Donna Benjamin, just in case you were still wondering, but um, apologies for not telling you who I am. What's uh, much more important is um, that, and uh, we have some names, and you have to be here to win. Oh, drum roll, yes, come on, come on. And Jamie Schmidt, are you here? No, Jam. Jamie, you've left already? No? Oh. Drum roll. Jimmy Green. Jimmy? Jimmy Green? Jimmy Green. You want an iPad? Are you Jimmy Green? Yes! Jimmy Green, come on up! Hello. Congratulations. Very good. Okay, I'm done with this. Aha, Peter, thank you for the late-breaking news. Um, okay, we're done with that one. So, uh, how many presenters are still here in the room? Uh, massively, thank you, by the way, for all of your work. But I have one task left for you. Please add your slides, upload them to the website, or put a link in your description somewhere. Apparently, there's instructions if you go to your session, it'll make more sense than I'm making right now, but please either upload your slides or put a link to your slides wherever they may live, um, there and then tweet or something, tell the world, but basically presenters, it's up to you, please share your slides in whatever way, shape or form you can. Uh, not quite that one, oh no, we've got a different slide for the recording thing, haven't we? No? Okay, so uh, a few people have been asking about um, will, the, you know, will slides be shared? Were there recordings, etc.? So, in theory, yes. Every single session was recorded. I say in theory because I don't actually believe this until it's done and they're online and I can tell you about it. But I will tell you about it once it's done 
Um, we'll probably send out an email thanking you all for being wonderful and telling you important bits of news like that. But in theory, yes, they have all been recorded. Just in case, presenters, see aforementioned slide, that one, about sharing your thing. Right, okay, done. Next. Uh, next. Delegates, I have a task for you. Also on the website, on every session, is a feedback page or a feedback button thing. Click that and please share your thoughts on the sessions. This is really valuable to people who have put quite a lot of time and effort into preparing slides for of what they know and sharing it with you. Brian has a... Do it right now. No, actually, just do it by tomorrow, perhaps. No, just do it as, as soon as you can. A good point. Deadlines are helpful, so please share that information as quickly as you can while it's still fresh in your mind and, uh, and really. And hands up speakers how valuable you find it to actually get some feedback, to know that people heard you and see some, well, some of them. All right, thanks. Maybe, maybe it's just me, I don't know. All right, next one. The important stuff. So, um, huge amount of time, energy, effort, blood, sweat, tears, alcohol, oh, no, um, chocolate uh, goes into doing this kind of thing. Uh, no. Yeah. You can, you can hand them to me and tell me. Ah, uh, yes. Jess, one of our track chairs. Thank you. Oh, maybe I can do that list. This will work, I think. Uh, Pam, come on up. Jess, Jess, come back. Stay, 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 Pam, Jess. David, Peterson, I think I saw you sneak off. David has departed, unfortunately, he's already left. Um, Murray, Murray. Ben. I don't have... Yeah, I'm sorry. That's my fault. You can talk to me about it later. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, uh, the, the four people standing here and, and also Chris have been our content team. So they, these are our track chairs and Chris was our content lead. So they read every single session that was submitted and made some very, very hard decisions about what would go into the program. Um, so those of you who um, have spoken, thank these guys for saying, yep, vote of confidence in you. And those of you who submitted, because I know some of you are here, but weren't selected, it was really tough. We're, it's one of the things why, that has made this conference so amazing is how generous everybody was about wanting to share their knowledge. I wish we had more days, more time slots to be able to give everyone a go. Sometimes hard decisions are made, but these guys made it happen, so thank you. And then we have the volunteers who turned up to just help make it actually happen on the day. Um, Alexa, are you still here? No? Somewhere here? He's possibly out in the hallway track still, in the coders lounge. Well, he misses out right now, but we'll catch up with him later. Um, Kathy. Yes, Matt, go get her. Thank you. And Matt, who also just ran out. <laughs> Matt! Matt, Kathy, Kim Horton. Kim, Kim, Kim. Kim's possibly in the Coders Lounge still as well. Rob, come on up, Rob. And Nancy, are you still here? Nancy it was a, a late addition to our volunteer lineup and ran around taking some fantastic photographs. Ah, Kim, excellent. Here you are. Thank you. All right, so I think that that's it. Nancy. Pete, uh, Peter, uh, Pete, Peter, uh, also possibly Peter, Sarah's going to get Peter, excellent, all right, cool, so I think that's everyone, Nancy is not here, Peter is coming, Rob's here, Kim's here, Matt is here, uh, Rick, now, three more, Ricky, Marin and Angus, Ricky, Marin and Angus, come on up.
So these three didn't do that much in the past two days, but did a huge amount in the lead up. Ricky was doing our theming and site building. Angus did our content strategy and kept telling me things that I should be saying to people on the Twitters and writing in MailChimp and all that sort of stuff. And Marin has done all of our gorgeous, gorgeous design. And the three of them have put in time, thank you to Susan Cowan from WeaveWeb. So huge thanks to these guys. And I think that's it. That's my list. I think that's my list. So, thank you. And uh, one more thank you from me to Linux Australia for an amazing amount of support. And on that note, I'm going to give Linux Australia the stage for a moment. Thanks. This is Sarah. She's the secretary. So on behalf of Linux Australia, we wanted to thank three very special people. Donna, Chris and Peter, who still hasn't come in, but a lot of time and effort goes into organising these things. We're all good. So volunteers are the lifeblood of Linux Australia and these three have done an amazing job getting it all together for you guys. So if you've had lots and lots of fun and you've learnt a lot, please do stand up and thank Peter, Chris and Donna. Pass you back to Donna. Thanks, Sarah. It, you know, it takes a village, right? Or a, a community. So thank you all. There's one more thank you, but I think it's a nice segue into what's going to happen next. So thank you all. I now release you from your humiliation. But we are very grateful, aren't we all? Give them a round of applause as they release. <laughs> Brian Gilbert, please come up to the stage. This work has been, on, has been going for some time, but will conclude tomorrow. So Brian, is, Brian Gilbert from Reality Loop is hosting our contribution sprints tomorrow. I'm going to give him a little bit of time to say what's happening, but the key details are here tomorrow from 10 a.m. Um, so I assume a lot of you will be uh, first-time sprinters. So from... Awesome. Woo. So I'll be starting off with a presentation just to give you some context about uh, contributing and how to get an environment set up if you don't already have that set up and so on. And then we'll be trying our best to help find issues that you can work on and having mentors to help support you in that. That's basically it. So. It's on a whole other level. Awesome, thanks, Brian. Yeah, it's it's in this building on uh, level five. Um, we'll be taking the lifts, which are just around there. There's not stairs to go to go up there. There's probably other stairs, but there's lifts here. So, if you're coming along um, tomorrow, it'll be on level five. Um, who's had a good time? <laughs> Who wants to do this again? So a little bit of backstory, if you'll, um, if you'll forgive me, is this has now been going on for some years. I think the first uh, Drupal South happened in New Zealand in 2008. Um, and we had our first Drupal Down Under in Brisbane in uh, 2011 or something. Yeah. And we've kind of had this fairly informal process of just handing the baton over to someone who would run it next time. Little did they know what they were getting themselves into. So 
but we've gotten to a point now where there's a certain level of logistics and planning that is kind of required to pull this off. It's grown to a point where it needs a little bit more structure around it and also a little bit more transparency rather than just, hey, do you want to do it? Yeah, okay, and passing the baton. So, what has happened is the people who've been involved in running Drupal South and Drupal Gov and Drupal Down Under over the past, what, and I can't do the maths, what's that, eight years? Five? I don't know. Many, many, that's a good word, over many years, have formed a, a committee, a bit like what Linux Australia does with the Linux Conf AU. We now have the ghosts of Drupal South and Down Under past, or Drupal South past, and we, we are going to um, communicate some criteria on what you really need to know um, to run an event like this and ask for some proposals. We've got three possible contenders of a location for the next Drupal South, which is pretty awesome, right? Three people going, yeah, I want to do this. So that's cool. So we're going to give them some guidelines on the kind of stuff that they probably need to have in place. We're going to put out a timeline to say, get the bids in, and then a timeline to say, to make a decision. And the people who've organised it in the past will make a decision based on um, an open, kind of transparent criteria. How does that sound? So I can't tell you where, but it will be happening. If, you, if that's just too much uncertainty for you, though, we do have another big Drupal event planned for our part of the world real soon. And on this, I'm going to hand over to... Oh, well, you saw that slide, right? That's where you'll go for info. So um, there's another Drupal event which runs in Australia every year uh, now, apparently, um, and it's called DrupalGov, and we run it in Canberra, and it's, uh, it's basically Drupal for the public sector. Um, uh, it's a great event. Uh, it's sold out the last two years. Uh, last year we had 180 people. Um, Adam Malone ran that one. Well done, Adam. Um, and I have, uh, yep. I have already activated the DrupalGov emergency beacon for this year. And the DrupalGov team is assembling as we speak. So there will be an event. We don't have a venue or a date yet, but expect to see that in Canberra. Um, and it's, it's a lot of fun as well. Uh, so do come along. <laughs>